So for today's dish, we're going to be doing my version of a classic carbonara. So a good tip when preparing food is using one chopping board, prepare things in risk order. And that basically means just prepare your meat at the end because then you're finished with the chopping board and then you can put the chopping board on the side and it is ready to be washed up. Now we're going to put the four cloves of garlic straight into the frying pan. This is a cold pan, can I just say this, this induction hob is off. I've got 20 mils of extra virgin olive oil. This dish, extra virgin olive oil is very important. However, if you haven't got it, and you've only got olive oil or a rapeseed oil, then you can supplement it. But extra virgin olive oil really does give a nice flavor to the dish. Something really, really nice and fresh about this dish. So, some finely chopped parsley. So, and last, thing on the chopping board is the smoked bacon. I want to cut this into lardons, so all I've done is I've cut it in half, I've taken the fat off, and now we're going to slice it. Lardon is just a, a cut, which basically means thin strips. And we're going to pop it in the saucepan. Now I'm finished with this board and the knife. Okay, so that's the preparation done. So, I'm just going to turn the bacon on gently. So in here, I've got the garlic, the bacon, the parsley and the olive oil. And we're just going to cook that slowly. So separating eggs, crack your egg and then just roll the yolk from shell to shell. Right, so that's four egg yolks in here. I've got the egg yolks, the milk, and parmesan. Just gonna mix that together. And this creates a, a paste, which you're gonna to add to your pasta at a later stage. So, into this bacon. A few twists of black pepper, it's very important. This recipe has five grams of molten sea salt flakes. And I'm gonna pop this into the bacon. I'm gonna put 250 grams of spaghetti. I like to serve my pasta slightly al dente. I would say a, a good ballpark time for cooking spaghetti or linguine is about the 10 to 12 minutes mark in boiling water. So this bacon is just cooking in the olive oil. It does release a little bit of liquid. Uh, that's not a problem. But you don't want this bacon to fry and go crispy. That's quite important. You want it to be cooked, but you don't want crisp bacon. Okay, this pasta's gonna be ready any second now. Okay, be very careful when you're picking up pots of boiling water. Nice and slow. The bacon goes back into the pasta. Now, this is a bit where I move quickly. Okay, now in with the egg yolks, parmesan and milk. So with a pair of tongs, really mix this thoroughly. Now what's gonna happen here is that the heat from the pasta and the bacon is gonna cook your egg. What you're looking for is it just to just to start the change, it just change colour ever so slightly. And it's it'll thicken up ever so slightly as well. Now I would say this recipe would easily do two good portions for an adult. I would say I've seen a rugby player that would definitely eat that all to himself. But they do certainly eat their fair share of food. Now it's really important you don't overcook this because if you put it back on the heat, what can happen is you can end up with scrambling your egg yolks, which really isn't ideal. 
Finish it with some fresh parmesan. Now you've got my classic carbonara.